Sakura Soldier. asked me to tell you about this, but under the circumstances, would you please look through the material on your own? Honestly, it's gonna be the plot of Persona 3. As I flip through the documents in the thick file, I notice that certain names appear again and again. Mitsu, Akihiko, and the names of everyone here. What is this? It's a summary of the activities that took place three years ago. Three years ago? You must mean... I see. Whoever's behind what's going on is definitely connected to those events. Too bad Dorkun isn't here. Three years ago at first, the incident leading to Mitsuru-san and the rest meeting one another. I haven't had the chance to go over it in detail, but supposedly it's the case that became the impetus for Mitsuru-san to establish the Shadow Operatives, the impetus? And the bonds that they have formed among each other. They were nurtured through the battles they took part in back then. Such deep connections look radiant in my eyes. I decided that it's important that I learn more about what happened then. As important as learning more about who or whatever is behind the events going on now. If I just wanted information on it, I could easily just transfer that data directly into my memory. But by actively reading it like this, I'll be able to understand what happened. Her thoughtfulness of treating me the same as a person makes me happy. Kikuna-san glances at me once more and nods slightly as if in approval. I think it looks good on you. A proper appearance is important when going out on a grand stage. Does she mean the uniform I'm wearing? Oh, I get it. She must have been the one who prepared the Yasugami uniform that Kurosawa-san gave me. Her sudden compliment is a little embarrassing, but I can't help but smile. I mean, this uniform, to me, is proof of my connection to Yukun and, her, and his friends. Thanks! Kikino-san reacts with a small smile that produces some other items. Yukari-san? Ken-san? I have acquired evokers and suitable weapons for you. They still have to use their evokers because they haven't actually faced their legitimate shadows yet. Wow, thank you! This would be the best for me! Ken Kun takes a spear from Kikino san and sits back with a satisfied expression. The spear is longer than Ken Kun is tall, but he seems confident. Wouldn't such a weapon be too unwieldy for him to handle? Kikino san, what is this? Ah ha ha ha! san hands Yukari san what appears to be a large pink bow that perfectly matches the suit she's wearing. Upon seeing it, Yukari san looks baffled. It's the ultimate arrow! Ken would know. I acquired reference material from the publisher and had it. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's more functional than the prop on your show. Uh, I'm pretty sure that makes it the best bow ever created, but in actual combat, I thought that using a form factor you're comfortable with would be best. Damn. I wasn't expecting you to have a logical explanation like that. Is this my arrangement unnecessary? Yeah, it was unnecessary. No, it's fine. <laughs> you have to deal with the fact that you're the pink Power Ranger. As Ken Ken reaches towards the bow with interest, I sense the helicopter tilt slightly to the side. We're circling around. Please hang on to something. The helicopter leans more sharply as Kino-san speaks. It seems that we need to take on more fuel before we reach Inaba. I reflect on Elizabeth's words as I look down on the view spreading out below us. It reminds me of that mysterious sea-like place. All the stars, you mean? Space? You were in space. But not actually space. The air in the helicopter is heavy. Upon reaching the last known location of Mitsuri-san and the others, we immediately saw that the guardrail was broken, as if a car had smashed through it. We looked down the cliff and discovered a black vehicle below, unmistakably Mitsuri-san's limousine. There were no skin marks on the road that indicate braking, and the car's body was seriously damaged. It appeared that it had been going at a very high rate of speed when it hit the barrier. Everyone paled in an instant and we were all at a loss for words, but the driver was the only person in the vehicle and though he was injured, there were no traces of blood from anyone other than him in the car. We wondered for a moment if the others had been able to leave the vehicle on their own, but if they had, they would have tried to contact us. 
It also seemed odd that they left an unconscious and injured man behind. Furthermore, there were no footprints around the vehicle at all. We did not search for a GPS signal, but there were no signs of their whereabouts. That left us with only one conclusion. I hate to think about it, but does this mean that they've been captured? <laughs> yep. Let us be optimistic and assume that they're still alive. If they were captured, then the enemy values their lives and will do no harm. We do have a chance. I carried the injured driver from the bottom of the cliff back up to the road. Kikino-san requested the vehicle to transport him to the hospital under the Kirijo family's care. Kikino-san made this decision since we wouldn't have been able to explain what happened to a normal ambulance. Also, it's possible that the people from public safety would take him away if we reported this to the authorities. Hikinasan asked the personnel who arrived with the transport to try to ask the driver about what happened when he regained consciousness. That will likely be difficult, however. If this is similar to what happened last time, the driver would have no memories of the events, much like the people who captured me and transported me to Inaba last time. However, there's no guarantee that the same had happened to the limousine driver. Not long after, we were back in the helicopter, which takes us to where we are now. To be honest, everyone's at a loss about how bad the situation is. Ken Ken tries to change the topic in an attempt to divert us from our worries. Oh, of course, he tries to be a fucking hero. A helicopter, I heard that it's hard to hover in the mountains. Did you train for that? Only a couple of years ago. But I have taken part in an assault operation involving a helicopter. You are in an assault, an assault operation? <laughs> Where? Just a high school dormitory. Huh? Oh yeah, I remember that. I decided to learn how to pilot in the event that if someone attempted the same move, I would be able to respond properly. Oh, see, the remember. I, I mean, uh, I haven't played Persona 3 in a long time, but I do not remember her finding a helicopter in it. My understanding has been renewed. It seems that being a maid is a very serious and very difficult occupation. I cannot read today. Well, yeah, I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat it. I don't know why, but he's already at Yasuo Inaba Station, so I told him to stay there. In any case, we should head to Inaba too. We might find some kind of clue there. Mitsuri-san's group had gone missing before sunset, and it's almost midnight now. Whoever did this must be the same person who kidnapped Labrasan. It's unthinkable anyone else would be able to do that. Mm. The question is what he intends to accomplish by kidnapping them. Ken Ken flips through the reports of the events of the case up until now, seemingly lost in thought. What is it to be gained by kidnapping Mitsuri-san this time? At that moment, heavy static flickers across the video displays within the helicopter. Oh shit. General Teddy, I assume? The strong win. Yep. The weak Midnight Channel. Tonight, we will witness the hottest battles in all P3 history. edition. The goddess of victory is waiting to descend upon the ring. P1 fans, are you ready? Yep, there they are. Time to let loose and all out war! Oh, they're just showing the P4 cast again. Oh, there's Akihiko. And the, yeah, okay. I'm on this now. I don't know. They don't really have to show this twice, but... Battles of honor, battles of will, sparks will fly. Some fight for pride. Some oh god, Kanji just glory. jumping at Mitsu like that is still amusing to me. Will this be decided by pure muscle, or will a battle of wits determine the outcome? I guess which I don't know why they, they changed her spelling. For the English version. Akuma and Teddy, I understand. Who will be crowned with the winner's wreath? Whose tale of glory will resound for generations? All that remains are the dreams of the warriors. As the 
Grand Prix plunges into its final chapter. The P1 Climax is... Barely getting started! Okay, so now that we've seen that for the second time... And the Dark Hour. Hey, what was that just now? Weren't those the Persona users in Inaba? It showed Mitsuru-senpai and the others, too. That's I read right. These records. If I recall correctly, was that the midnight channel that was being broadcast in Inaba? It was. I was on it too. But it wasn't like that last time. All of us in the helicopter are utterly confused. Who would broadcast something like that and why? The P1 climax? It's obviously a continuation of the fighting tournament. Suddenly the monitor switches to another feed. It's General Teddy. Well, Lobby Chan? General Teddy? But, but I thought I already... General Teddy, in the recent P1 Grand Prix, the one calling itself General Teddy turned out to be my own shadow. But I accepted my shadow and gained the power to use a persona. But if he's on the screen again, then General Teddy ignores my confusion and continues. Hear us? Isn't he that weird persona user named Teddy? No, he must be the general Teddy who hosted the fighting tournament last time. The records said he'd been eliminated, though. General you really did your research, research useless Ken. I guess at least we know you're not a read. Answer. You're gonna pay. <laughs> it's past your bedtime, cubby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm siding with General Teddy on this one. Get wrecked, Ken. Yes, keep talking shit to Ken. By someone who wishes he could replicate the fall. No one misunderstands. This will not be taking place within the TV world. It will, in fact, take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. Because we're in the dark hour. Time to show off how that special stage is going. The video feed switches to something else. The formation of Tartarus, perhaps? Oh no, it's just them. It's just the crucified Persona 3 cast. Senpai? And the others? I Jesus, thank you. You know what? Good job, Ken, actually paying attention to who else was there. What will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Oh, and this is a no-fly zone. We don't have any room in the parking lot for that thing, so you'd better start walking to the battleground. As a little incentive, Persona! Kintoki Doji! Throw him a tomahawk! What the hell? With that last command from General Teddy, the monitor turns off. After a moment of silence, kikina on shouts from the cockpit. An alarm? No. There really is a missile coming our way. Evasive maneuvers. Brace yourselves. A missile? As soon as Kikino-san shouts, the helicopter makes a sharp turn, and we're all thrown to the side. <laughs> 